Initially, I had no plans for the first part of Golden Week, but then I was I heard about this exhibition on Salem Moon. I was like, nope, I gotta go. I gotta be there. So I made my way to Tokyo last weekend and I got there and initially I was like, yay, exciting, exciting. And then when I got there, I looked around and I saw the main photo taking area. I was like, oh, cardboard pictures. Is this it? And that's my fault because I forgot to do the research before going and I should have known this wasn't the only part of the exhibit. There would have been more. So, oops, my bad. This part, you could see the city view and it was really just the main photo taking opportunity area. So they had lots of uh, memorabilia on display, replicas of the wands and the moon prisms and all that stuff and also cardboards you could take pictures with. I think you had to, if you wanted to take souvenir pictures, you had to pay for that. I mean the admission fee was 1,800 yen and honestly for an art exhibition this that was a lot but what I realized what you're paying for the extra probably thousand yen was the view because the views the view was fantastic but really I think they kind of robbed us a little and it should have been probably a thousand yen because you end up spending so much money on the cafe which I didn't go to I already said I'm not spending a small fortune at this place I didn't go to the cafe sorry you won't get to see the little cute cafe foods I can't eat half the things in there anyways and then the memorabilia which also cost a whole bunch of money so I think the admission fee was a little bit too much and also I would recommend that you go at night I think the view is great in the day but the city lit up at night would have been much better especially that photo taken area it seems to look better with the background lit up and the colors and the lights so I recommend that you go at night because that photo area was just very boring looking in the day now after you pass the main photo taking area you come to the exhibition part and you're not allowed to take pictures or photos which is annoying but I guess I understand why I kind of don't but whatever so that kind of pissed me off but I managed to take a little bit of the video that was shown of the short film there it is quick video please don't sue me and then after that you have more areas which I can only describe as just seeing a lot of memorabilia and artwork and then promoting Sailor Moon Crystal season 3. This was another photo taking opportunity, it was beautiful and then after that you went to the souvenir section where you could just buy all kinds of things from Sailor Moon. So it was really cool. I I enjoyed it because I, I'm a Sailor Moon super fan but if you're not a Sailor Moon super fan I wouldn't recommend that you go to this exhibition. Save your money. But it was great and now I'm going to tell you about my souvenirs. Quickly show you what I got at the Sailor Moon exhibit. I just got in from work. And the first thing I got was making so much noise. It's a puzzle piece. Yeah. The reason why I got the puzzle piece, there are so many souvenirs to buy. I'm sorry I didn't get to film that section. What I really wanted was a Luna pillow, but that wasn't there. But there are little trinkets, folders, cups, everything you can imagine with Sailor Moon on it. I got the puzzle piece. So I the puzzle. So I could do the puzzle and then frame it because I I'm wanted to buy so much like more that. but I just I, I don't think one should spend more than a certain amount of money on <laughs> one item oh my gosh it's a hard puzzle piece it's like a legit puzzle oh and I'm not good with puzzles <laughs> but yeah I'm gonna oh and it comes with glue puzzle glue so I can glue it together and frame it so that's why I got this and I can't wait to start it I guess I'll do that for my golden project I also well I didn't mean to get this what happened was when I went to the cashier to pay for this oh is my camera falling yeah, there we go when I went to the cashier to buy that this um the nice cashier lady was speaking in Japanese and I don't understand Japanese but she pointed to two other items and I was like oh a free gift no it wasn't a free gift she was asking me if I wanted to purchase this or the other thing so I ended up purchasing this by accident because by the time I saw the bill went up I was like Ugh, I can't tell her to put it back so 
that would have been too embarrassing so i got this it's a sailor moon one it's a special edition Rapongi um sailor moon wanda so yay and it comes with a little stand so i can put it on display in my room i realized that i'm sailor moon otaku and i don't care whatever so those were my soup souvenirs from the exhibit and also they gave us a free drink free promotion i actually tasted my friend zone of this and it, it's not bad it looks like piss but it's not bad and so yeah that was the sailor moon exhibit and i don't think it was worth 1800 i think it was more the view made it a lot more but as i said before in the video but i enjoyed myself i did i did there are pictures from what i took at the exhibit it's open from April 16th to June 19th, 2016. It's located at the Tokyo City View Observation Deck Sky Gallery in Rop Roppongi District of Tokyo. It's easy to find and it's really great, so go see it if you can.